Your detective skills have gained you access to the Lion's Den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emmer's mother, Jane, who was the fiance of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming. Bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up, but to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way, then. you want is in the God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Excellent, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera.
Edward, you can't let Mother get to you like this. You've always been immune to her. How do you do it? That's what she does. I'm the youngest. I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. Down by the fountain. Never let him go. Wait for everyone to show up. It's just in front of the fountain. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Well, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Shut up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nervous wreck. Stop littering. Well, Mother, you certainly know how to lighten the mood. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Well done, 47. Madame Carlyle is on her way. I wonder how she will like her final resting ground. Mr. Parsons, I don't like to be kept waiting. I trust we can be efficient now I'm here. I can be very efficient, Madame Carlyle. What's that picture of me doing here? What an awful idea. I want it removed before the ceremony tomorrow. I must say I don't care much for the choice of flowers either. I need a moment to consider what I want. What's that podium? I find that having family members do the eulogy is more often than not a toe-cringing affair. I've never understood the need to publicly display grief. A person died. Most natural thing in the world. No need to make an emotional spectacle of it. I hope you haven't planned for one of those. No. I prefer to keep it simple. And the gravestone. Granite. Solid. No fuss. I like it. Well done, Mr. Parsons, I approve. Yes, it will mark your grave beautifully. So, to sum up, I expect you to remove my picture from the memorial. That was an absolutely horrendous idea. Very unfit for these historical surroundings. This is my ancestral burial ground. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Yeah. 